This time on the corner, we're going to install a linear rail. Next. Hey guys, welcome back to the corner. It's me, Jeff. And this area here, as you know, that's kind of got my other Tronxy, the one that I'm modding right now for Clipper that's I've done a bunch of stuff to. Um, this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a linear rail on it. All right, hey guys. So... <clears throat> We're going to do a linear rail install today. Now, as you can tell, this is my old trunk. See, this is the one I'm converting to clipper. So I want to do a linear rail. Um, I'm going to do a linear rail on the X axis. So I bought a 350 mil linear rail and I have the, uh, the carriage for that right here. And I've been soaking it overnight and stirring it around and cleaning it up and trying to get all of the, um, the transportation oil off of it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it out now and we're going to lube it up put it back on the rail and install it on the trunk seat start working on this so I'm going to just clean this up here take this out um then we're just going to let this dry for a bit and we're going to carry on with the install. Now, Chris Riley has a great video on um, linear rails and stuff. Here's the linear rail. This is a 350 mil linear rail. It's going to sit right about there, but it's going to sit on here. So we're going to need to remove this, um, the carriage, and I think that should be good. But you're basically going to have to remove all the wheels off of it. So we'll start doing that right now. So you're going to have to remove the two screws that hold the carriage cover on and that will allow you to loosen the carriage cover over the hot end. Um, I'm going to cut my zip ties here. You'll probably have, um, if your Troxy's unmodded, uh, probably that uh, silly um, black cable on it. Once you free up enough cable, you should be able to um, simply move the shroud over to the side. And then you're going to have to remove the um, two screws that hold the hot end in place in order to get to the last wheel to remove it. And once you end up removing the two screws that hold the hot end in, you should be able to just move it to the side. You should be able to just simply just remove the... Um, belt off of the uh, carriage now and then once you do that you'll remove that last wheel and your carriage will be f completely free and ready for the linear rail install so i just wanted to show you um this is why you kind of need to clean these things off when you first get them and grease them and stuff because that's kind of the cloth that's just from like a couple of wipes on it so just make sure you clean all your your stuff and re-lube it when you get it. Um, that's what I'm going to try and do right now. The brackets that I printed out were for a uh, CR10. I saw somebody in the Facebook forums have these out, but when I went to line them up, you have the two standoffs, these, um, these little guys right here and here. And when they push through, they don't, um, there's no holes for them. So what I did was I just, um, I went into Tinkercad and cut this down. And I did a couple holes and it's actually behind me on the other trunk seat printing right now. So I'm going to put this together. I'm going to put the linear rail on and then we're going to do the mounting back of all the hardware and stuff. Okay. So now that I have this greased, I'm going to follow Chris Riley's advice here and kind of make sure you put this in 
as flat as possible. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to make sure it's lying as straight as possible and I'm easing it in. I'm trying to watch the bearings actually spin around on the inside. I actually stop pushing it in when I see the bearings sort of bind on the grease. So I'm just sort of trying to work the grease into the channel and stuff like that and keeping an eye on the bearings so they don't come off the rails while I'm doing this. So I'm sort of flipping it back and forth mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. I'm doing that right now and I'm noticing that they're moving smoothly now and I can get through. So that's in, you wanna grab yourself a, um, a paper towel or whatever, wipe your excess off and just kind of run them down your rail a few times. Make sure they uh, doesn't bind or anything. Now for the counting part, <laughs> I have 12. Get myself a clump of those. And now because my wonderful kit here is all scrambled, I need to dig out the eight. 10, 2 All right. So, that is the linear rail all set ready to go with the boat nuts. Which is absolutely perfect. Now the trick is to make sure all these are straight so we can basically slide them in to our rail just like that i'm just going to remove this bad boy here i'll just remove this as well at this point in time there we go all right just tighten all these bad boys up here So one of the problems I had to face was um, the end stop. I had to remount on the uh, top of the bracket instead of inside of the bracket in order for this carriage to um, to trigger it. Um, you can remodel this and you won't have to move the end stop. I just already modified it slightly. This just was the solution that worked for me. Uh, uh. This is the original piece that I um, downloaded and tried out. It's really good, but the way the belts sort of hook up, it just didn't seem right for me. And as I said, it didn't have the gap for those uh, standoff screws. So after a couple of tries, I ended up liking this little design and I'll post this on my Dropbox. So I have a... Uh, Little pass by here for those standoffs, just a little channel. And the way the belt is, is the belt actually, oh, I left a little small little gap here, just enough for the belt to come through so it lines up with the channel. And then we're just gonna pull it through and tighten it on this side. So. Um, with a couple of my demos, I tried it and it keeps it aligned in the channel and you don't get that squeaky, squeaky, weird sound sort of thing that, um, one of my Tronxys makes and the other one doesn't. So I'm going to stick with this design. And as I said, I'll host this on the Dropbox, but the rest is really simple. Now we're just going to reassemble everything and it should be tickety boo. Now there are two places to put M4 screws in each side of this or M4 bolts, I should say. Nuts, 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 not bolts, nuts. So you just wanna make sure those suckers get in there.
I will just attach the belts as such. Um, you'll have to, um, I'm pretty sure you'll have to adjust this. So you'll have to loosen this. Oh yeah, with your belt ends, my belt was long enough, but you'll have to um, cut off the zip ties. Uh, the original zip ties, I think, were like down here for this. All right, you can still see the bend in the uh, cable. I just super shortened them, added a zip tie to the end, and then I was able to simply drop this in here. So now, when you're done that, you'll have to um, put this wheel back in the guide. <clears throat> and that will simply be like this. Um, and then if you have a tensioner, great. I do not. <laughs> but that's okay. I will tension myself. A few tries. Make sure it's good. Then we will um, add the carriage back here. Now be kind of careful about what you got going on with your carriage, but you should be able to add your standoffs in and then screw in your um, your M4s. These are M416s, in case you were wondering. We now have definite proof. The screws felt a little bit loose at the back, so I just simply uh, had a small piece of tape just to kind of hold them in there so they wouldn't run away on me. I felt good now to remove those. And yeah, let's finish up our little adventure here with the housing. Let's do a homing test. All right, I'd say that's a successful install. So that was a successful test. Uh, I just wanted to try it out. I think I'm actually gonna replace the little rubber stopper on the end that it comes with with the kit with um, an M6 screw, an M5 screw or something like that. Something a little bit uh, bigger or even a taller um, M3 instead of an M38. I'll put like a, another something just to make it a bit of a firmer end stop. Um, I haven't had a problem yet, but I can just picture the thing going ding and off you go, right? So, um, you did see me do a couple of things. You saw me move the uh, the end stop switch to the outside of the bracket so it would handle it, as well as slightly modify that STL for the carriage. I'll leave that link down below in my hot box, in my hot box, in my draw box down below, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna keep modding and testing and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm gonna, when I was putting it in, it felt really a lot smoother than the wheels did, which was a good thing. So as I say, I'm just gonna continue on trying to mod these things out. I'll put a link down below um, for all the parts. Uh, somebody mentioned they wanted US links, so I'll kind of work on the US Amazon links as well, and I'll put those down below. But um, I just wanna say thanks a lot, everyone. I really appreciate you guys, you know, spending time with me, watching my channel. I think that's really awesome. If you're cruising through the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Um, the more uh, subscribers I get, the more views I get. Um, 
the better the channel does and I'll be able to do a few more things like this and I really appreciate that so thank you so much and as always until next time guys have fun and keep modding right see <laughs>